My case involved a repetitious work of lifting the mail, uh, putting it over my shoulder to a conveyor belt, and it was very, very repetitive and heavy mail at times. And I got injured uh, from constantly doing the same thing. I had a pain in my left shoulder and I ignored it. I just didn't think much of it at the time. And then I went, I first went to my supervisor and told him that I had a pain in my shoulder. And he asked me if I could just take some uh, ibuprofen. And, and I said, okay. So I went back to work. I took the ibuprofen. And then uh, three months after that, I went back to him again, telling him, um, I still have the pain, and he tells me that he couldn't afford to lose, uh, they were short on staff, which it was true, they were short on staff, and that he need, he cannot afford to lose uh, a person at that time. So I went back to work again, and then three months after that, which and it was March this time, yes he did. Make me feel, well, by me being older, for one, we have a tendency of not trying not to uh, do anything to lose our jobs because I had a goal in mind, and my goal was to put away some money, pay off some bills, and that was my goal. And I wasn't going to let nothing get in my way. Uh, but I felt like I was just a number. I felt disrespected. And, um, and I felt like my age was going to be a problem. What made me decide to contact an attorney um, is that I went to a counselor and I was telling the counselor about the problem and, and my pain and stuff like that. And he pushed me and suggested for me to get an attorney. I did not want to get one at first because I didn't want to do anything to hurt the company. I thought about it and, and it, it do some, it did, I did some soul searching and when he explained to me that I won't be getting the company in trouble, just I need someone to advise me of my rights and to make sure that my, uh, my rights was being exercised. I did some searching and I did some background checking um, like I always do before I jump, get into the water, you have to test it. And the one that had the five star, and the one that has, um, I was looking for honesty, and not someone that's gonna, you know, shove me under the bus and, you know, and take advantage because you know you can't trust all laws, all law firms, you know. And this one came out with five star rating, and I did some checking with some other people that uh, I've heard came here and. And then the counselor get to find out he came here for some other things. And he recommended the, for me to come here. And I says, well, I, that's who I, I, I hired to look into my case for me. And he was very pleased. It was a breath of fresh air, um, even though I think that I, I was more concerned about me causing you guys stress <laughs> because I was really nervous. I was afraid. Um, but I, you guys were really, really professional, very good with me, very patient with me, and it's, it was. It seems more like I was seeing an attorney and a counselor <laughs> at the same time because you knew this firm knew how to calm me down and let me know and that everything is going to be okay. That you guys going to take good care of me, and you did. I will, I will recommend them to call this place, call this firm, tell them the, the, the situation first, but I will warn them, they're not going to just take your case at first. They have to hear what it's about. And if it's something that is not going to waste your time and the attorney time, because they don't want you to have to come in from far away and then get to find out that they can't take your case. So I will recommend them to get all their paperwork, document everything, keep a diary, if, if all possible, 
Tell less people as possible about your problems and save that problem for when you see a counselor like an attorney come in and be prepared and have everything that you could possibly have written. I will tell them to seek an attorney. I will personally recommend this place and tell them to please be as honest as possible. Don't leave anything out. You have rights and sometimes those rights don't get exercised by the employer.